Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. So I'm going to do today's show almost exactly like I do every other show. Um, I will be taking callers live, answering questions, helping them connect with loved ones on the other side. The call-in number is 845-277-9131. I will also be answering questions in the chat on YouTube. How can you join us live? Great question. I go live every Monday at noon. And right now, I'm going live on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. You can join on YouTube or you can call in 845-277-9131. I take uh, questions, answer, I, I uh, help you connect with loved ones. We chat in the chat. I give everybody in the chat their songs of the day. <laughs> um. Sal, if you're not familiar with that song, it's that like we go to, it's from Greece and it's like we go together like Bamalanga, Bing Bang, something, something, something. Okay, so uh, let's see. Um, today's healing on TikTok is hoarding and letting things go. And, oh, my mind just stopped. Do you guys ever have that where your mind just goes, we're going to take a little break right now. We're just going to, yoop. I am on social media. I am on uh, TikTok. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and I think a couple of other ones. But I will never, ever reach out to you on any form of of social media. I will never reach out. I will never tell you to cash. I don't even have a cash app. I don't. Um, or that you need, a, I, I will never do that. Please do not get scammed, please. And then the next thing is what I would normally say at the beginning of the show. Well, Let's go to names. Okay, these are the names of the loved ones on the other side, or they could be your name. So the loved ones on the other side either give their name or your name. The first name I'm hearing before I can even finish is Lionel, 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 like Lionel Richie, like Lionel Richie, L-I-O-N-E-L, Lionel. Okay, and the next name I'm hearing is Gilbert. What is up, you guys? Stop. I think they're punking me. It's like, and then they go like Gilbert Godfrey because I did Lino, like Lino. Just stop. Um, then, <laughs> do we? <laughs> the next name I'm hearing is Aretha, and then they laugh and go like Franklin. <laughs> I'm gonna stop doing names in a second because of this whole shenanigans there this morning. Um, the next name I'm hearing is Betty. Uh, that's more practical, like Cracker. <laughs> they must know I really need to laugh today because they are bringing it. They are totally bringing it. Um, I don't need, I'm afraid I'm afraid, literally nervous to say any other, um, any other names because I'm just afraid of what they're going to like, uh, say, okay, Marilyn. Yes. Like Monroe. Um, okay. They get it. They get it. Thank you. Um, the other, um, and literally you guys, these are not the actual celebrities. They're just being very, very funny today. So if you know anybody by these names, please, by all means, know that that is for you. The next name that I'm hearing is uh, Christopher. And then I'm also hearing the name F with an F. It's with an F. It's Felipe. 
with an F, not a PH, with an F. And then the next name that I'm hearing is um well that's it for names because that just ended and then uh the songs that I'm hearing today is the song I'm all out of love and then the song um <clears throat> that song take a chance on me by blondie I believe that's by blondie and then the next song I'm hearing is um uh, it's by that, I think she, she, Sheena or Sheila E. He's this, uh, like a snake in the grass or something like that. Um, and then the next song I'm hearing is, um, my pony. <laughs> <laughs> and but I'm not going to sing that. I'm not. I'm not there telling me just sing it. Come on, it'll be funny. It won't. It won't be funny. Uh, uh, today is not a me singing my pony song. Not my little pony. It's the my pony jump on it. You know that song. I'm just a bachelor looking for a partner. Yeah, that, that my pony. <laughs> okay, that's that. Now I'm going to do the channeling and hopefully that will bring us back to base. Okay, no, they're telling me don't do the channeling. So I have to start this in a very specific way so that I don't get flagged or cut. So everybody knows I'm a bit of a conspiracy, conspiracy theorist. Sure, we'll go with that. And um, they have this thing. Okay, I'm just going to say some words. Everybody can do their own checking on things. They had this thing called Agenda 2030. And it was pushed up dramatically, if you know, you know. And they had to move all their timelines. They had to speed it up. They had to push it in. Now, what I'm about to say, it's just a theory. You do with it what you want. Do your research. Um, but all the information is already out there. Everything that I'm about to say has already been publicized by them. Okay? I'm just going to add some facts to it to kind of hit it home. So one of the goals of WEF and WHO is one world or new world oneness. All these countries run literally by one person that looks like a group of people. And that's, that's everything that we're seeing right now is heading into that. And if anybody remembers, let me know in the chat, if anybody remembers Ronald Reagan um, giving speeches saying, I don't know what's going to have to happen for us to be at peace. Maybe the aliens are going to have to land and then we'll finally unite to fight the aliens. Man, what a psychic that mother for a whoa, whoa was because guess what they're prepping you for holograms in the sky don't believe it don't i mean are there are there other beings from other worlds god i hope so don't let us be the most intelligent form of life for the love of all that sweet and good please do not but if there are they've been among us Thank God for a very long time. What I am going to say, don't go along to get along. Don't, don't, don't think this. If they start pushing this agenda of becoming a one world thinger, dinger, don't think it's a good thing. Don't think it's a good thing. Because once they 
have all these countries together, then they become the biggest whatever power. And then they try to outpower anything else. But in the meantime, there, there are so many things that they will do that will just, this is not the direction we want to go. So please be aware, watch for the signs, and then just know um, if you want to keep your freedom, that is not the way to do it. That will, that will strip us of every right. Anyway, okay. Having said that, I am going to start taking callers. Um, uh, when I say your area code, please let me know your name and where you're calling from. And then uh, have an exact question and or connection to a loved one on the other side. And Marilyn is really whoo -hoo, here hanging out. I'm going to go to this color first because I know it's a very um, long, long distance number. So it starts 447, which I think 44 might be the country code. Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, hi. Thanks for taking my call. My name is Deep. I'm calling from the United Kingdom. Okay. Thank you for calling in. How can I help you today? Um, I had a question uh, about finances, if you can help me with that, please. Um, so I lost a lot of money last year um, because of two, three scams mm -hmm. um, investments that I invested into. Um, do you think um, I will get uh, most or all of um, my money back eventually? Do you see any timelines? And okay. how much I will get back, if not everything. Okay, I'm hearing you're going to get some of it back, but not all of it. Um, one of the things that I'm hearing is a lot of it is gone. Like, whatever the scam was, whomever scammed you, they that it might be gone already, like they have spent it. But what I am going to tell you is if some will come back some of it will come back but not as much as you would like or need um <clears throat> one thing i'm getting for you and for anybody who's been scammed by anybody change all your social media emails and um even if you can your phone number change it all because they have you many people and they will keep going and reaching out in different ways. Um, the other thing I'm hearing is the money you don't get back from the scammers, you will get back in a different way. But you'll have to take action on it. Uh, so in yes, focus on moving forward, trying to get that back, but also focus on how can you bring more in? Where can I go and bring more in? So, and this is just an example. It's not an exact. So if you have your, your job that you do, that is your career, then on the side, you start doing something else to bring more in. But I, I do see like a, the way I see things sometimes is a little comical. So please don't be offended. Um, I do see like a bag of coins landing in your lap. And it's like one of those cartoon bags of coins, um, but it comes through in a very legitimate way, in a very, very legitimate way. It doesn't come through like, if you pay into this, you'll get that. It's not like that at all. It's a very legitimate way that this money comes in. And usually I'll see a coin or two coming through from above, but this is like a whole bag of coins that drops in your laps, which I would like to say that means it's a little bit more, but I don't want to give false hope. However much it is, it is. I do feel like the in September and then into October, you're going to see extra money coming in or some money coming back 
Now that doesn't mean from legal action or whatever. That just means whatever you lost, some of it is coming back in whatever way it would come back to you. And just be open to the universe to bring it back to you however it can. So again, it might not come back from the, the scam scams. It might come to you from something completely different. Okay. For, and for example, and this is bittersweet and I don't know why they're using this example, but sometimes somebody passes and then our, our resources get replenished. That's a very extreme example, but that's one example of a way that money can come back to us. And they are asking you to remember to change everything um, as far as social media and everything like that. Just change it. Just like start over again with all of that. Okay, love? Okay, thank you. And do you see it coming back to other source by next year, uh, 2024? I see some... As in to become even. I, I see... Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to say again, I see some of it coming back. I don't know. I don't know how much of it is going to be replenished, but I see some of it being replenished and I see some of it being replenished in September, October, like around that timeline. And then again, I hear November. So you might be getting something also in November. I don't know that that's going to be all of it, but I know that's going to be some of it will come back. A percentage of it will come back. This Some of it will come back this right. year, and then maybe next year there will be more, but I'm not really sure about that. I don't want to speak on that because I'm not seeing details on that, okay? Understood. Thank you. Thanks for the lovely reading, Mom. You are so welcome. Thank you so much for calling in. And I wish you luck in the future. I really do. Um, so everybody, I want to say, you know, it is so easy. These people have, these people that scam, they have such a huge system and network set up. It is so easy to, to get sucked in to them. Okay. So please be careful, be careful. 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, it's Pat from Connecticut. Hey, Pat, how are you doing? I'm okay. Um, I, I hope you received a message from me. Um, if not, I'll be speaking to you soon for a reading. Um, did you get a message from me? I, do, I don't know when you sent it, but I'm, I don't, okay. I didn't. If you sent it via email, no, no, I didn't. I don't check that very often. Oh, and I, okay. okay, I did send an email. Okay. I'll be speaking to you soon for reading, but right now I'd like to know if this man that I bought my used car from, who has been in some ways so helpful, um, is getting irritated with me and I'm ending up feeling really kind of stupid. I know it's my responsibility for my feelings, but he's, I don't know if he's passive aggressive, if he's getting irritated, if he wants to be done with his car. I'm having problems and it's, his messages are confusing. He's buying parts to fix, he'll pay for it, but he's complaining about the memes I send and the way I'm communicating. And I am confused, and it's a really hard time to be dealing with this. Can okay. you give me some insight into this person? Yes. Okay, so first and foremost, Pat, um, please remember most people have full days and full schedules and a lot that they are doing so they don't have a lot of time to go back and forth with people but they try to be polite because it is business okay um second um i would say sometimes when people try to go a little bit above and beyond to help someone 
it might become a burden to them because again, it's a business and not, even though they try to help out in the front end, um, they don't want to get spanked in the back end. And third, um, uh, I'm not going to say that. I'm no. Um, and third, I would just say, try to make your contact as minimal and as precise as possible without like, this isn't, this isn't someone, you know, like most people, I'm trying to be so gentle here and trying to be so careful with the way I say you things because to... I know you're going through a lot right now, but That's we can no, no, never, um... we can never ever become dependent or overly connected to somebody who's providing a service for us. So whether it be a mechanic, a dentist, or anything, um, remember that's a professional situation. And from beginning to end, we have to treat it professionally and not become over-invested, dependent, or look at them as friends. Because at the end of the day, they really are just trying to do their job and pay their bills too. Um, and I know it's easy to become a little over invested in someone who's providing a service, especially if they're nice, but we have to really just keep that professional for their sake, but more so for our sake. Okay. Um, for all the reasons I, I'm going to say this, and this is a little bit personal and I probably shouldn't say it, but I'm going to, in my business, I, I, on the very rare occasions that someone has, you know, tried to or transformed it from a professional to a personal relationship with me or tried to, it just never works out. And here's why. In the beginning, they're coming to me for guidance and that never goes away. So in the friendship, they think, you know, that's the person I am. But as a friend, no, that's not what I'm here for. And then when that dynamic switches, they don't always love it. And then, you know, there are other things involved. However, I'm just going to say, let your professional people be your professional people. And don't, don't take things personally because it's not a personal thing. It's a professional thing. Okay? Okay. That's the way I'm going to leave that there. I hope that's helpful, Pat. And I know you're going through a lot, so I'm sending you love. And I look forward to the private session. Um, you can text me when you're ready to schedule that or call and I'll be happy to schedule that. I'm going to go to 860-860. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Amla. How are you? Hey, Amla. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So um, I'll get to the question. So it's, it's, it was interesting. I went to this thing this past weekend and it was just... Oh, my mind was blown away. It was just, it was, my heart opened, all the stuff just, like, all the gunk basically just left. Um, the residual stuff. And so, I don't know, like, can you just tap into why, all right, in the last, I would say, year, getting to the point, it, it, people have not followed through with me, including in the last two weeks. So, because I went through this transformation, do you think that I let that go? And that's not going to happen anymore overall. No. <laughs> I mean, it, there's always some time it could happen, but. Oh, yeah. dear girl. Um, I am laughing because you went through a transformation. Other people didn't. It doesn't make, make them accountable. Oh. 
So here's the thing. People are either responsible and accountable or they're not. And nothing we do is going to change that. Like, just because I am faithful, it doesn't mean I'm going to get faithful, guys. Just because I'm a good person, it doesn't mean good people aren't going to come into my life uh, or are going to, you know, we get all types. And not everything is based on what we clean up. As a matter of fact, the more we clean up, the more we let go of the more transparent other people become to us. And the key is to not have expectations of others. Not to like, if somebody says they're going to do something, especially in today's world, because I do not know what has happened to some of the people out there. But in today's world, if somebody says, I'm going to do this, oh, great, I'm going to reach out. Oh, good. If they do great, if they don't, okay. People have very busy schedules, People in a moment can think something sounds good, but then later on it doesn't and they or they get too busy or they're just saying it to be polite. Yeah. Who knows with people who who really cares? Don't invest in that sort of thing unless you're paying somebody yeah. to do something. Don't count on it. I mean, really don't count on it. Um and well, that's what's happening. I was paying this for it. Was just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I, you know the blindness thing, and I, I depend on Uber. It's, I'm not going to go into the story of it. That they were going to do it. Then they don't. And I'm just so, it's infuriating. I'm sorry to say it. I'm human, too. It, it, it's tough. It's really tough. I'm just going to say it again. the words to say. I'm just going to say it again. There is something going on out there and I don't with some people not with everybody but with some people where I I don't even I can't even describe it but it's like uh, something is going on where almost like consciousness or conscience isn't as strong as it was ethical behavior whatever um Anyway, here's the thing. We have to take everything with a grain of salt. That That's all I can take. And people are definitely changing. And the one thing I will tell you is do not get upset and do not get angry and do not, people are losing it and flipping out and having these reactions. So no matter what situation you're in, no matter who you're in it with, just stay calm and do what you need to do to get through your next moment. And if if you're paying somebody, if you've already paid them and then they don't, do with it, try to get your money back. But, you know, all I can say at this time and point is things are changing and we just have to be aware of the fact that things are changing and people are changing and we have to be smart about our next steps and that, you know, don't take it personally, but don't have expectations um, because it's, it's, it will only disappoint you. It will only disappoint you. And don't allow other people to change the fabric of who you are. Okay. I am going to go to a question online in the chat. So if anybody in the chat has a question and I see a couple. Hey, Patrick. Um, hey, Anton. Heather, Frankie. Welcome to the show, everybody. Hey, Sal. <laughs> Um, uh, Mimi, hey, um, you're right, Sal, about that. Isabella has a question. Hi, Tony. Do you see Nick being deployed this year? I hear yes, and I see November, but we'll see what happens with that. So yes and November, possibly possibly November. 
Okay. Uh, Zaylee, your question is next, but I'm going to go to, um, you guys, I don't remember if I did 520. And, and Isabella, that's as of right now, that's a yes. I don't know if that's going to, something might change, but as of right now, yes, he will be deployed this year. Okay. Um, 520, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Lisa, and I'm calling from Phoenix. Hey, Lisa, how can I help you today? I just wonder what you saw from my love life, Paige. Okay, um, are you in a relationship right now? Yes, I am. Thank you. Okay, can I get his first name? John. Okay. Um, so what I'm getting for you and this person is there is going to be a change coming in, in September. This change is not necessarily a negative change. It's, it's actually not, I don't feel like this change is negative at all. I do feel like, um, The change coming in is going to have you questioning something. So here's what I'm, I'm getting. Sorry? Here's what I'm getting. I don't know how to even explain this, but this is the way I'm going to explain it. Like, like when we're in a relationship and we really want like the next step and then the next step comes and we're like, wait, wait a minute. Is this what I want? But wait, is this what I want? So what I feel like is there's going to be a change coming in in September. It's not a bad change, but it is a change. And then it's going to make you look at the dynamics of the relationship to try to figure out if this is really what you want or not. That's what I'm getting. Everything else looks, looks okay in the situation, but that's something you're going to have to decide when September rolls around. Um, I do feel like by October, you'll have it figured out exactly what you want and where you want to be and what you're going to do with all of this. Okay, love? Oh, thank you from my heart to yours. Thank you. Oh my goodness. You're so welcome. I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day. And um, please call us back and let us know what that change is. Okay. Thank you. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, everybody, I'm going to go to Zaylee's question. If you would like to call in with a question, the number is 845-277-9131. Uh, Zaylee wants to know, should I start a food truck for festivals? Um, if so, what type of food do you see me selling? Margaritas, <laughs> always margaritas, <laughs> margaritas, chips, and salsa. No, I'm joking, Zaylee. I'm joking. I am so kind of joking. Um, and then that song is that silly, silly thing. Give me one margarita. I'm going to whatever they say with that song. Okay, so Zaylee, if you want to do this, make sure you check into all the details, the licensing, everything that goes with this. Yes, 100%. I don't I feel like you will not be selling one type of food. I feel like it will be spe like specialties. And this could mean one of two things. Um it might be like um Please don't take this as an exact. It's just, it's sweetie. It is such an example like Wing Wednesday, Taco Tuesday, um, <laughs> Thirsty Thursday. No, <laughs> they are, they are, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh fried food friday i don't know at this point i'm a i am somebody on the other side right now is just coming through with solid solid just 
stuff uh, that is supposed to be so hilarious, but I don't think everybody will get it. Zaylee, yes. Um, try to find a food truck that maybe somebody else had. Um, whatever you're going to do, make sure you have it set up and make sure you can get into the festivals. Not only that, but make sure that um, you can not only do festivals, but you can do other areas. Like if you want to do uh, something in front of like clubs or bars at bar time or in the later hours, if you want to do something in front of like uh, uh businesses during lunch hour, make sure you can use it for all of the above, but yes, also for festivals. And also make sure that it's something that if you do want to take it out of your area and use it in another area, that it's all up to code for those. For that, I'm getting this a lot and make sure you have a strong social media. See, they love giving business advice. I'm just saying they really, 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 really do. Um, with this food truck, Make sure that you are creating a strong social media presence for the food truck, what you're going to be serving, where it's going to be, when it's going to be there, like have it, have a schedule as though it is a celebrity that people can come out and get your food, know where you're going to be, when you're going to be there, and then go online and say, hey, what new dish or what new thing should I offer? Don't always stick to just one thing. I feel like you're going to have a couple different things on the menu, even if these things are not similar. You might have a couple of different things on the menu. And I am getting that you're going to have a suite on the menu that everybody's going to go crazy for, like some kind of dessert. I hear it's more like a sweet than like a dessert type of food. And I feel like that's going to be very, very popular also. So please make sure you're looking into all of these details and run with it. Um, <clears throat> uh, oh, well, and then she says, as I say, make sure I, I feel like there's going to be a sweet. Our friend has an ice cream wagon they want us to buy. And I just don't know if I should buy that wagon or buy a new one myself to be successful. You know, what, what else can you do with this? Here's the question I'm getting for you. What else can you do with this wagon? And is that your passion? So if it has to stay an ice cream wagon and you're passionate about that, great. And then find out why are they selling it? Where did they go wrong? What weren't they offering? And yes, daily margarita Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> I don't even drink tequila or margaritas. I just know if you're going to open something with alcohol. And, you know, I'm going to tell you this. When you have those slushy margaritas, they don't count that as alcohol. <laughs> Like they do if you want to serve whiskey so you can get away with margaritas like the crushed, is that crushed slushies, adult slushies, <laughs> a lot better than you can get away with um, kid uh, with, <laughs> than you can get away with like whiskey or something like that. Okay, so margaritas forever uh, on that note. Uh, but um, Zaylee, one thing you might want to do is if you do take that ice cream truck, turn it into an adult ice cream, at least in part, adult ice cream, like rum chata ice cream, or Bailey's ice cream, because that might be the twist that's needed. Like you can have your kid ice creams, but then also have your adult ish ice creams. For a person that very rarely drinks, man, I have like all the alcohol ideas. <laughs> okay. On that. And then rumple mint ice cream. <laughs> Golden Schlager ice cream. <laughs> I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna 
stop right there, Zaley, because I don't think I don't think that's at all much. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm entertaining myself today. Clearly. <laughs> Uh, Genevieve says she wants to try all those ice creams. So <laughs> me too, Genevieve. <laughs> oh, so those of you who are not as versed in alcohol as the non-alcoholic over here, Rumpelmans and Goldschlager are definitely uh, um, bottles, pour in bottles, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I come from a family of drinkers. I don't know. I don't even know what to say at that point. At this point, I don't know. Um, okay, Zaylee, uh, figure out if you're going to do a truck, if you're going to do some sort of food, ice cream, dessert truck, figure out how you can make it yours and how you can make it su successful and make sure you ha it has a very strong social media Presence. If you'd like to call in, the call in number is 845 277 9131. And yes, I do offer private sessions. They are nothing like this. <laughs> please know that. <laughs> yeah, uh, please know that. This is like, this is like entertainment. <laughs> it might not be really entertainment, but it's like entertainment. Okay, I'm going to go to 828. 828, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, what's your, hello? Hey love, what's your name? Okay, I know she's there because I heard her, but now she's not talking, so I don't even know. 828, are you still there? I think she might be gone. So that's going to be that for 828. Okay, you guys, um, I'm going to take another online question. If you'd like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131-828. If you were having trouble connecting, hearing me, or if you were talking and I wasn't hearing you, please hang up and call right back in. I will pick you up again. Okay, um, uh, Genevieve, uh no, this is this is not a. I still have not found a wedding dress. This is just a top. I've given up on the wedding dress, but the wedding's coming up. It's August twelfth, so my niece is getting married August twelfth, and I still I haven't found a dress. It's a good thing I'm not the bride. Um, I'm gonna go to K S J. Uh, okay, so I uh, did Nick. Did Nick take and still have, if so, the keys taken April 11th? You told me uh, to move, been trying since 2019. I know, as you said, it's dangerous. They ruin car and bike, but need keys and fob. Okay, KS, I'm just going to call you KS. Um, did Nick take the keys? I hear a yes on that. Um, does he still have them? No, he, he may have, um, he may have gotten rid of them or lost them. Here's what I'm going to tell you, KS, um, work with an, I was going to say one thing, but this is what's coming out. So I'm going to say this. Work with an organization that can get you moved. Um, reach out to some sort of organization that can get you into a new place and or area. And KS, I feel like you not only need to leave that neighborhood, but that whole city. I do feel like you need to be in a completely different environment and don't when you do find a place and you will find a place, don't let anybody know. So I have a sister that will reach out to landlords and ask them, will you accept this? Will you accept that? Will you work with me on this? You don't know until you ask. So just ask KS and hopefully you will find somebody that's 
able to help you. I'm going to try 828 one more time just because I know they were there. Um, 828? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, yay. Yeah, see? Yeah, okay, how can I help you, love? What's your name? Where are you calling from? You just answered me. I just think it's the author of the wrong Okay, I'm so sorry, 828. I tried twice and it is very gargly and bubbly. So either you're on a speakerphone, a car phone, a tin can, I, I don't know. I'm going to go to the next caller and then I'm going to come back to you. But whatever that is, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit before I can... I can't understand you. And if you've listened to my show, you know I can understand just about anyone who calls in. So I'm going to go to 519. 519, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Jennifer calling from Canada. Oh, thank God. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, thank God because I love Jennifer and I haven't talked to her in so, so long. <laughs> I thought it's because I sounded okay. <laughs> yep. And I can hear you. Everything is clear. Thank thank goodness we got a clear connection. Everything is good. Jennifer, what's up? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> um, um, lately, I don't know if this is for everybody or just for me. I've been feeling so sad lately. There's nothing really I can pin it on. I guess an ex-boyfriend just got married, but I was sad before that even happened. Um, just wondering if... Um, there's something I can do to bring myself out of it or if it's really just a sadness that belongs to everybody. Okay. So one of the things that I am going to say is there is just a lot going on right now. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do a clearing for you, for everybody listening. We're just going to do a general clearing to get rid of the icky energy. Um, because it is heavy right now. Everything is really heavy and for, and it's been for a little bit of time. It really has been for a bit of time. So we are going to clear that and we're going to try to. So um, all heavy, dark, icky, sad, whatever energy is now being cleared from us. Who all that caused it, kept it, clear that. And then I'm also getting that, um, you know, what I'm getting for you, Jennifer, really is that there is a, um, I don't like, I don't, I, I'm going to use this word because it's the one coming. However, there's a reckoning going on. Okay. And I'm being, mm -hmm. this might not make sense to you, but I think it will. Just because we, okay, just because we see somebody moving on and being with somebody else, one of two things, that doesn't mean it's a better situation than you had with that person. Not that you're wishing them a bad situation, but. No, no, no. Yeah. It's, you know, people are who they are, no matter who they're with. And. The fact that this person moved on and found, I know that's not what's making you um, a little bit out of your normal energy, um, but okay, there is someone coming in that I feel like there are things that, like again, the word reckoning, and I know this is a little bit all over the, the place, and I apologize because I'm getting words and not full things with these words. But what I'm going to say is there's a reckoning and then there's a new beginning. So everything is going to like, I don't know what they call this, but where it all comes together and then goes out and then it's a new beginning. And that's coming in for you. Mm -hmm. And by November is going to be the new beginning. So between now and November, it's almost like, I don't, I wish I knew space talk a little bit better,
but where like an atom or like space comes in the continuum continuum and then it it all comes in down to this like little bitty thing and then goes and re-expands and opens up again and that's what I'm getting for you like everything is being brought into this like teeny weeny weeny pinpoint view like uh, and uh, when it comes in, it seems as though it's only darkness around, but then when it expands, it's brilliant, big, beautiful light again. So as it comes in, it's not the end, it's the beginning of something new, but everything else had to end and be completely unavailable for this new beginning to come in. Oh, mm -hmm. gosh. oh gosh. okay. Okay, and then that makes sense. Thank you. And then thank you for the clearing, dude. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then in November, everything should be re-expanding through November and January and into February and on a new trajectory or track. And this may be going on for almost everybody right now I want to say Jennifer I don't feel like it's you I feel like it's a collective shrinking down to nothing and then expanding into everything and I feel like when the when we hit that pinpoint that little almost nothing and it starts to expand it's like a I don't know what this means, but I'm going to say it because they're saying it like an atom erupting or expanding. And um, in that moment, there will be so much clarity for everyone. Everything will be like so like, uh, I don't know, bright or just known. We'll have that clarification. For each person, it will be completely different. But for each person that is going through this, it will exist. And it will show them the path that they're supposed to be on and why everything that is happening up until this point has happened the way it has happened. And there are so many things. Oh, I love this. I'm not going to stop talking no matter what. So here we go. There is everything that has happened has happened for very specific and actual factual reasons. And as you move forward from that point, it can never be the same again. You can never repeat old patterns again. You can never go through old habits again. All the old beliefs and programs will be gone because in this eruption of what's new, again, I hear November, there is going to be only new concepts, new ideas and new ways that you, for whomever's going through this, will see. And you're going to be in this place of, oh my gosh, I'm so happy I am where I am and everything's going the way it's going and that we're just going to move forward now and this is going to be it. Um, I do feel like there might be some relocation coming in for you specifically, but there's going to be relocation coming in for quite a few people. And Jennifer, this relocation, be very open when this opportunity comes in, no matter where you have the option to relocate to, be very open to it. I mean, extremely okay. open to it. There was this, I was watching TikTok last night. This is not spirit. This is me now, but I'm going to share it because I thought it was very cool. I was watching TikTok last night and there was this guy on there that said he bought like a house in Italy for like a dollar. Now there are many countries and many areas of like Greece and Italy and a couple of other countries that their their aging population has aged out in these small towns and nobody wants to live there. And the, the houses are run down and you have to go in and you really have to fix them up. Um, but I mean, talk about opening up your world and being ready to be in something completely brand new. There's there's just a thought for whomever really wants to be in that sort. And there are other countries like Italy and Greece are also, and I, I wish I could remember the third country that will literally pay you and give you land to relocate to their area if you're wanting to move 
someplace else. Having said all of that, I don't know that that's what you're going to do, Jennifer. They just, you know, I'm just um, saying what I'm saying. Um, you, there is going to be the opportunity for relocation for you. This this opportunity is going to come in. Ha! Huh, September seems so. Either September of this year or next year. But really look into it and see if it's feasible. See if this is something that you're ready for. And don't be afraid to 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 like make that move or take that step. But look into all the um, schematics or statistics or what that would look like for you overall. Okay, love? And I think sometimes this is a fact too. Sometimes when the, the, the thing is shrinking down to all darkness, it means losing like or not losing but letting go of all friends for whatever reason, friends, relationships start to um, go away. And then, and then you're like, what's keeping me here anyway? And that is by divine purpose and divine setting that you have no ties so you can fly free and end up where you're supposed to be. So if, if friendships, relationships, whatever are ending, um, that that might be the reason also. So you can land someplace new without feeling like this. Oh, but what about this person? They really need me. No excuses. No excuses. Okay, Jennifer, I know that went on a little bit. I hope it was helpful. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate it. Let me ask you, Jennifer, have you thought about relocating recently or, you know? My, my, I've had a 10 year lease and it's up next July and um, I'm going to be an empty nester in September. So it would only make sense for me to relocate, but I don't know where to, what for or anything like that. So I think it's, but just I will be open to it when the opportunity <laughs> I, and it's funny you say in September you're going to be an empty nester. I think something's going to kind of fall in your lap and you're just going to end up like going with the flow of whatever comes in. I mean, it you know, look at it realistically. Look at all the um, schematics. They're using that word again um, of everything. And then, you know, I hear that song. Um, it's time for me to fly. I don't know who really. I eagles, um, maybe, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, but that is something that is coming in and is a definite possibility for you. And of course we have free will and options. And that is, uh, what I'll say for you, Jennifer. So look into all of it and, and, and be, be open to everything that comes in. Okay. I will. Time for me to fly is by REO Speedwagon. Yes. Mm, yes, thank you. Yes, yes. And that is your song of the day. Time for me to fly. <laughs> and I do feel like in 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 September, you're just going to be like the final layer has it, it's the final countdown is the next song I'm hearing. It's the final countdown. <laughs> And then, phew, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Thank you. You are so welcome. I hope that was so helpful for you, love. 90 seconds. It was. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye -bye. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, everybody, thank you so much. I will be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. If you called in and I didn't get to get to you or it wasn't a clear connection, I apologize. If you asked a question online and I didn't get to it, I apologize. Come back Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. I'll be happy to do that for you. Thank you, everybody who spent the time here with me today. Um, <laughs> I appreciate it so much. I'm just reading comments and laughing as I'm checking out with everybody. I love you all so very, very much. I look forward to Wednesday show. Thanks again and have an amazing rest of the day.